you very much. I want to take you a little bit in the uh, digital world, uh, and I must say that I'm as much as a learner as many of you, uh, and that's the good thing of being at the university, because you learn from your students just as much as you can teach them uh, other aspects of uh, clinical planning and care. When we look uh, where uh, delivery or how dental care was delivered or is uh, currently delivered, there has been quite uh, an evolution. Uh, most of the time in dental school, you might uh, see one of these historical setups uh, in a corner in a, on a, in a display. Uh, moving forward in an older practice, it might still look that way. Uh, where I practice, this is probably about uh, the level of uh, modernity we have achieved. But there is already, if you go to the IDS meeting in Cologne, for instance, and I'm sure in private practice settings, uh, a setup that uh, looks uh, very futuristic. And uh, this is an image uh, which Strom had provided, and it actually looks at dentistry 2020. That's about seven years away. And uh, that's the futuristic picture of a group practice where predominantly uh, females are working. Uh, you have quite definitely, you don't recognize them anymore as females because of the decoration they're wearing. Uh, you have pr uh, general practitioners mixed in uh, with the specialists. And for instance, the patient walks in and you put, uh, presses his thumb on a screen at the entrance and the whole record pops up with all the patient information you need to have. Uh, the digital laboratory is obviously also part uh, of this setup. This makes me sort of uh, hope that I can practice uh, still in seven years from now. Um, the new uh, technologies obviously change the workflow. Uh, we talk about digitalization in dentistry. Uh, 